Hey, I bet you can do this one yourself. Carpet tiles or carpet squares, whatever you call it, it is the easiest flooring you will ever install. Super lightweight, relatively inexpensive, especially when you consider you don't have to pay a professional to do this and come in your house. Let's talk about some of the benefits. Easy to install yourself, no contractors needed. You can even buy different colors and offset the patterns. It's up to you, get creative here. Check out the best feature of this carpet. Say later down the road, you get a damaged piece or a stained piece that you just can't wash out. You literally throw that one away and slide a new one in. While it is true that a carpet tile is gonna be thinner than traditional carpet, but there are so many positive advantages to it that I think you'll like it. Let's get to it. Okay, now if you start with just randomly placing a carpet tile on the corner or edge of the room, it might come out crooked, crooked by the other end. Our walls are not always square. So to be more precise, you do want to measure each direction and find the dead center of the room. So you start off by measuring the width of your room. We're at 135 inches. Divide that by two. That'll be the center line that we want. Okay, so you pull your line tight and you just snap it. And 78 inches. Okay, so now what you've created is a center, dead center of the room that will make sure that the carpet tiles or squares, whatever you want to refer to them as, will be directionally correct. See that? Now I would go a little further and start laying a few of these out and seeing how you're going to end up on the edge of the room. One thing you want to watch out for is not to have a tiny little sliver of a piece. Okay, so we have just under a full piece. That's going to look pretty good. But say we had a situation like that was the remainder gap. You would not want to rip down a carpet tile for just that. You'd want to adjust your full pieces to maybe come up with at least a half a piece on the end. Most product of this type will have a directional arrow. Be sure to keep that in the same direction in your room. For instance, just keep the front of the house, but they all need to point the same direction. But inevitably, of course, you will have to cut the carpet tiles. All you need is a trusty straight edge and a utility knife with a sharp blade and you're good to go. So my directional arrow should all be facing the same way. Now for the cut, I'm actually going to rotate it 180 degrees just to mark where we're going to cut. So right there. And all I'm doing, all I'm doing is marking. That's all I'm doing. So now I just connect my two lines with a straight edge. And now when I flip that over, the cut side will be against the wall, which is what you want. You want your factory edge to factory edge. And then, of course, you'll have obstructions to cut around, such as heat ducts. And then your heat duct louvers will just drop right in there. Okay, on to the final stage. So likely your carpet tile kit will come with the self-adhesive tabs. This is called a floating floor system. There is nothing attaching it to the subfloor, which makes installation incredibly simple. However, these tabs, where your four corners come together, can you see that? These self-adhesive tabs will keep the carpet stuck down so they don't ever lift up. So they came in the kit, you're gonna separate it. There's actually these hash marks, the black lines, that's, that's what you do. You stick a corner of the carpet the tile to each one. Lift that one up. Lift that one up. Okay, there we, okay, there we go. And it's stuck down. All the four corners are stuck together. That seam should not lift up. They should all be stuck together. Hey, this is definitely a project you can do yourself, especially when you consider you're saving all that labor of paying a professional to come measure your room and then return later to do the installation. This bedroom turned into a home office we did for just a little over $500. The use cases for this type of product are many, such as nurseries, churches. It is true they're more common in commercial applications, but for in-home use, it's an excellent product. I bet you can do it yourself.